Have you held on to your first original bags that you bought when you started collecting designer bags or are you someone like me that has gone through quite a process of finding what bags they like because I think I feel like I've been on a really big handbag a journey and I'm hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel I was tagged today to do a video called seven handbags that I've had the longest and how much I paid and well it was a little bit hard to do this tag I was kindly tagged by Jess Sui Lu who has oh, oh my gosh her collection is so dreamy she has such a beautiful style and gorgeous channel I'm sure you guys have watched her before and I believe this tag was originally created by Handbackholic uh, she also has a really awesome channel so I'll link them both below um, but I have since I started collecting handbags uh, I don't really feel proud to admit it but I think I've collected like over a hundred handbags and I find it really hard to hold on to a bag for a really long amount of time without getting really bored and it's really weird because when I started collecting handbags I definitely didn't go straight into Hermes or Chanel I started out with like Kate Spade and oh my gosh around that time uh, when I was buying Kate Spade bags, I bought my first coach bag, which was the coach swinger bag, I believe, which looks a little bit like a little Birkin, and I loved that bag. Um, it's a little black crossbody. And around that time, I received uh, this bag, which I still have, and that brings me to my first bag that I've had the longest, which is this little camera bag, which I still use to this day. Uh, this is by Giorgio Armani and I know Giorgio Armani is not a brand that people really talk about for bags and actually I don't really talk hear a lot of people talk about Giorgio Armani anymore but to be honest Armani was massive in the 90s and the 2000s so I don't know what's happened with Armani but they seem to be not like as talked about on social media but anyways they make really beautiful bags I think the price point is really good as well and I actually worked there uh probably like eight years ago or so and they gifted me this bag for my Christmas gift um, you know if you've worked in luxury retail you tend to get a Christmas present or something which is really nice some companies are more generous than others but Armani was pretty generous so I got this camera bag I was completely stoked because it was one of my first like designer bags and it's in this beautiful like smooth leather I still wear it like I don't know why I just love it the inside is in this like I mean to be honest the inside is very delicate it's this very soft like lambskin and it even has a little metal plate that says grazia on it <laughs> which is really cute so yeah I mean I'm yeah it smells like leather I'm like is this pleather but yeah I don't know it has this really soft feel so I got this for free I guess I sacrificed my time to work there so that was my first one of my first bags I got. Um, one of the longest bags I've had that's designer is, this is another one of those random bags that I don't really talk about much, but it's this Mew Mew Clutch, and I got this for free from my friend. Um, I've, I actually really love Mew Mew, like I love the clothes, I love the whole vibe of Mew Mew. I know they're really popular in like Europe and I think in the US as well. They're not as popular in they're not as popular in Australia for some reason. I always walk past their store and they look a bit quiet. But yeah, I love Mew Mew. I think they're so adorable. And I always wanted a Mew Mew bag. So um, around the time that I got this, well, I was helping my friend sell some of her designer bags on my eBay store because I used to sell a lot of my clothes. And, you know, I've always been into fashion. So I helped her sell some of her designer bags. And to say thank you, she uh, gave me her Mew Mew clutch. And oh my gosh, I just absolutely have been wearing it like all these years definitely to like an event or yeah I just don't yeah I mean I don't wear it all the time I must admit but it's good for weddings and stuff and like whether if you have to go out and party you don't want to like bring something that is super new I mean this is definitely used like it does have some wear and tear on the corners and even you can see on the bow but it's very sweet and Mew Mew style so again I sacrifice my time I guess to get this bag and I guess you sacrifice your time to earn money anyway so it was kind of just like a favor I did but yeah that was free as well now we get into the tragic stories of how much I actually paid for some of my bags now actually this next one wasn't too bad um this is my first Hermes bag. It's my Picatin 18, which I blab on a lot, like, too much, to be honest. But I bought this from Timeless Luxuries, which is a consignment store. And actually, um, I bought this because I really loved the color Rose Extreme. I thought it was so pretty. 
and I ended up buying this for around 2400 Australian dollars I believe um, so yeah, I got it for such a good deal because although it was like a pretty new colour and everything, the previous um, owner spilled some hot tea on the bag and it has a blister here. So that's why it was reduced to like $2,000. But yeah, I really like it. I love the colour and I wear it a lot. Because it has a blister, it just make, means that I wear it more, I guess. And I want to just like use this bag and enjoy it because yeah, there's something intimidating sometimes about buying like a fresh new bag because you feel like you're gonna wreck it but yeah I wear this a lot so there's that one that, it got a little bit hazy as to like what I bought after that because I went through a phase of collecting Celeront bags Gucci bags which I never really showed in depth on my channel but I kind of got rid of all those bags then I went through a phase of collecting Louis Vuitton and Chanel bags which, yeah, I, as I said, I probably bought over 100 bags, buying, selling, buying, selling, selling. I definitely went through phases and, you know, I bought a few LVs, some um, bought like 20 Chanel bags. Like, I don't even know, guys. But recently, probably the last year or so, I've completely sold most of my bags that I've had. And I've re reinvigorated my collection with Hermes bags, which Hermes is definitely my favorite brand for bags yes I, I Hermes have so many categories guys yes you can get into all the categories I really like the silks as well I haven't really got into the jewelry or the homewares or anything I do have a mug but yeah nothing crazy yet so I've definitely just been bitten by the uh bag bug for Hermes but yeah I have acquired quite a few bags in the last two years or so just from my obsession uh kind of uh, reinvesting the money I got from selling my other bags into my Hermes collection and this yeah this is my oldest bag but I actually did buy a few other Hermes bags and I sold them and then I'm kind of sitting on this collection now so the next bag I bought after I sold a lot of bags was probably my Birkin 30 and this one is in Rose Poupre. I bought this while I was working at the Purse Affair. I kind of worked at a consignment store for a few months and it was a really good experience to like help people sell their bags and to try on all the um, Hermes bags as well. It was definitely influenced me to uh, collect more Hermes bags but I, I bought this bag because I loved the color this pinky purple um, I don't know why I don't reach for it that much I think because it's quite wide and yeah I'm obviously going to keep it though because it's so beautiful but um, I think I bought this for like honestly I don't really want to say but I think it was like 16,000 Australian dollars like yeah anyway I since this video is called and the prices I have to say the price but yeah it wasn't cheap but um, yeah, I think that's pretty standard for a Birkin. I mean, I've seen this Birkin go for over 20000 Uh The market at the moment is not very good. So if you're thinking to buy a Birkin or Kelly now, I would say now is not a bad time because I've noticed a lot of prices drop for bags and less people, I feel like, in this um, kind of time are inclined to spend their money on bags. People are spending more on holidays and experiences and saving for a rainy day. So... Yeah, when I bought this bag, it was actually during a time where there was a big interest in luxury bags, like around two years ago. Um, I bought this actually when I was 30, and now I'm 32. So I've had it for two years, surprisingly, but I really haven't worn it much. But I do want to hold on to it because I just really like it, and it's really pretty. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep that there. You know, after that, I actually uh, bought a her bag as well. Um, I had had a few other her bags which I bought pre-loved and I never really got along with them because I found the opening and closing quite annoying and yeah I had one in bamboo I think the color was um, and I sold it because I don't know I didn't love the combination and then I had a black and gold one and then I got rid of that too I don't know why I think it was to fund my Birkin or something I can't remember guys like I've had a lot of bags but one day I walked into the Hermes store and I saw this her bag and I loved this um this pattern on it honestly I just thought it looked kind of like limited edition so that sucked me in a little bit and because it's a her bag it's obviously not as expensive as like a Birkin or something so I thought it would be a cute bag to pick up it was on the display and I snatched it up I can't remember exactly the price I paid to be honest um I think it was like under 5,000 Australian dollars. This was back in 2020, I think I bought this. Um, and yeah, this is one of the few bags I could get from the boutique, but I really love it. Um, I think it's probably gone up in price slightly since then. But um, yeah, it's still a style I think you, you can 
try and find. I've seen a few other colours of this, um, like, Chris Viking uh, material in the store as well, so you might be able to still get it, but I really like the contrast, and yeah, it's just like a really casual bag, so I keep it because I just really like this colour, basically. That's why I bought it. Sometimes it just, you know, sometimes you don't need much to convince me. Even though the style is not as practical, if it's the right, like, variation or colour, I'll just, like, fall in love with it. So, yeah, there's that. And, um, oh, also before I bought that one, actually, this was the first bag I bought from the boutique, which is my mini Evelyn in gold hardware. And I asked my sales associate if I could get a pop of colour mini Evelyn, but they happened to only get a uh, black with gold hardware one in and a black with palladium, and I chose the gold hardware because I thought, oh well, gold hardware at the time was a bit more trending, but I feel like it's kind of changing now, um, and I've used it a lot because, you know, a black crossbody is really easy. I think I paid 2750 Australian dollars. I think this was back in 2020. I think it has gone up a little bit since then, but yeah, that was actually not a bad price. Um, but it's held up really well. It's definitely relaxed a little bit. I actually have a 7RP organizer in here, which I bought from a client at the Purse Affair because they were selling their bag and they had this in it. And I know these inserts are like luxury inserts, so I bought it for my bag and it does help keep the shape quite well. So yeah, I do like the 7RP, but... Yeah, they're, they're expensive, but they're, they're really nice. Um, so I've got that in there too, and yeah, I mean, I still have it. I love it. I really like all this, the bags that I've bought directly from the boutique because at least I know they're 100% authentic and everything. Um, I get all my bags, you know, double authenticated and everything, but yeah, you can never really know unless you buy it directly from the store. So I always hold on to my my first Hermes bags because I think they're really nice, uh, the ones I bought from the store. Um, and then, well, the, uh, the last thing I bought recently, um, oh, it's a bit messed up right now, but I bought this last year. I can't really remember the order of the other bags, but I definitely bought these Kellys at the Purse Affair as well. But just to show you guys something di different, this is my Omnibus bag, uh, which I bought from Vestier Collective. Uh, this bag is from 2008, and I paid um, 2400 I think, for this bag. Yeah, Australian dollars, so it was not too bad. Uh, this would have retailed back in 2008 for a lot more than that, so I'm pretty happy with that deal. Obviously, it's not as obviously Hermes. It's not as recognisable. Um, the Twillies I have to fix up because, yeah, I use this bag a lot, and sometimes the Twillies get loose, but I really like this bag because it's a little bit more low-key, which I prefer. I find I don't wear my Birkin as much because I feel like it's a little bit too showy i know that's just something in my head but i've definitely reached for this omnibus so much more than my birkin which is crazy because i would say this bag is not as cute as my birkin but i just find that the zip is very practical um it has feet as well a really good size it's not too big not too small and yeah it was it's a pre-loved bag but um i had it authenticated a few times and it doesn't seem like a bag that was that popular so I don't think there's a lot of fakes out there of it as well which is good for some if you're buying bags pre-loved um I, sometimes it's smarter to go for a non-popular style because there's probably less likely um going to be fakes of it um yeah so anyways let me know guys have you held on to your first original bags that you bought when you started collecting designer bags or are you someone like me that has gone through quite a process of finding what bags they like because I think I feel like I've been on a really big handbag a journey and I'm kind of at a place now where I feel like I did a pretty good job like I'm pretty happy with all these bags I'm not feeling like I'm lacking much so yeah I'm pretty happy with what I've collected and yeah um, so I'll tag some people below to do this video as well and thanks for to Jessie Lou for tagging me and I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye